Dallas Fort Worth's apartment market performance in 2014 ranked among its best ever. Can that momentum be sustained in 2015? Welcome to Apart Mark Dynamics from MPF Research. I'm Jay Parsons. He's Greg Willett. And this continues our tour of the big Texas markets. We're starting this examination in part due to the media coverage around the drop off in energy prices and the potential impact to Texas and specifically to the big apart markets. In our last episode, we talked about the impact in Houston. And today we moved move up to Big D. Greg, the big question is does the decline in, energy, uh, in the energy sector have much of an impact in Dallas Fort Worth? The short answer is no. There is a little bit of spillover effect because uh, Dallas-Fort Worth is big on finance and real estate and certainly some of the financial and real estate services that uh, are, are going to the oil patch. That money actually comes uh, from North Texas companies. So maybe a little bit going on there, but um, not too much. So really, we're going to see probably that employment growth uh, in North Texas stays about where it was in 2014. And those 2014 numbers were really strong. Uh, North Texas added 112,000 jobs, growing by 3.5%. Um, again, we think that the 2015 numbers are about the same, and that should keep DFW right at um, the top of the list nationally for overall economic performance. It's been among the top of the, uh, in the top of the list nationally for job growth, and the same has been true of apartment demand. Uh, DFW was tops of the nation actually by that measure in 2014. Absorption came in at 15,575 units, and with that demand figure right in line with completions, occupancy has held strong during the past year. Certainly impressive performance. Year-end occupancy came at 94.7 percent, a 13-year high, and DFW didn't even get a seasonal dip in Q4 that we typically see. And on the rent growth, some terrific news as well. Annual rent growth registered at 4.9% in 2014. While that's only a little bit ahead of the overall U.S. average, it's an all-time high for North Texas, where the near constant flow of new product moving through initial lease-up tends to limit rent growth to some degree. Uh, in the past year's pricing power proved impressive across the product spectrum and really in all but one neighborhood that had, uh, that had to digest most of this new supply. So, Greg, a record-setting performance in 2014 and another year of good job with in 20, 2015. So that sounds like pretty good news, right? It, that is good news. But, and there's usually a but there, don't underestimate the ability of uh, developers to build too much product all at once in Dallas-Fort Worth. So let's look at those building numbers. Uh, under construction right now, we have 30,196 units. Of those, 22,175 are scheduled to complete during 2015, and that mean the, means the coming year's new supply will actually top the 2014 number by more than 40%. So that is certainly a big increase. Um, just over a third of the apartments that are underway in North Texas are coming online in those really expensive urban environments. Um, downtown, uptown Dallas, the Oaklawn area, fringe neighborhoods right around there, and then in the Fort Worth uh, CBD as well. Uh, and those are going to be some really competitive environments because of that new construction volume. And primarily because of all that urban leasing competition, we think overall occupancy in DFW comes down 70 basis points in 2015, and the annual rent growth comes down to 3.5 percent. Still a very good number by historical standards for DFW, of course. Uh, but the overall performance in the coming year then should still be well below the 2014 performance. Uh, and the factor that really moves the needle is actually supply, not demand, that would be tied back to any kind of slowing economy tracing to the energy sector. And you're really saying it's business as usual for Dallas-Fort Worth uh, compared to what we see in past cycles. At some point, you just get enough going under construction that even with a strong economy and strong, strong demand, it's more than can be immediately absorbed as soon as those units get done. And that's it for North Texas. So until next time, for Greg Willett, I'm Jay Parsons. Thank you for watching Apart Mark Dynamics from MPF Research. Want more? Go deeper with NPF Research's apartment market reports. From a national level, down to individual metros, to specific neighborhoods, NPF Research has been providing unparalleled apartment market intelligence to the multifamily industry for almost five decades. 
Learn more by contacting us at 877-284-4938 or visit www.npfresearch.com and click on Market Reports.